Recreational use of cannabis and alcohol. I think alcohol is probably not the best idea. And I think cannabis, I don't think there's any way to smoke weed casually and not become absolutely devastated by it. I think weed, uh, weed kills people. Weed will, weed will fucking ruin your life. It'll, it'll just, it ruins, it takes years of your life. You can't use weed casually. You eventually, you'll, you'll become to the point where you self-medicate with it and, um, um, you'll be using it every day and you won't even get high anymore. Yeah, if you just started smoking weed, you gotta stop. It's really a bad idea. It's gonna fucking, it's just a waste of time and money. Stop the presses right here. Caesar the salad. When I stopped smoking weed, it was the best thing life handed to me. Damn right, Caesar. If I've heard truth at all ever in my life, it's that truth right there. Stopping weed will set you free. Completely will set you free. Anyway, I wanted to make a video real quick because I got a message from a kid saying that they, they started smoking weed because of my videos, and that's not a joke. I have never once smoked weed. I've never been high, and uh, that's not a lie. That's a God, swear to God, okay? Right hand to God, left hand to God, fucking two hands to God, hand holding a cigarette to God. That's the truth, and I've never met anybody who long-term um, had uh, that where weed was a long-term positive force, positive thing in their life, okay? And that's dead, this is a deadly serious topic, by the way. Everybody I've talked to, everybody I've, everybody I've interacted with who is uh, into weed at all has, um, it, it eventually morphs, it eventually morphs into a source of stress, a thing that um, makes you mentally unbalanced, a thing that, uh, that gets out of control. Um, and I just someone someone posted a picture of the coronavirus shirt and holding a joint. And I don't I don't look down on anyone anyone who smoked weed, but um, it's I, in my opinion it's a bad idea. Long term it's a bad idea. I don't think it goes anywhere good, man. Like. I get, and the thing that people keep saying is that, um, weed helps me, like, get a grip. Weed helps me feel, you know, whatever. It, it, it does something positive short term. Yeah, well, uh, eating, if we're being totally honest here, eating McDonald's makes me feel like I have a grip, okay? Eating fry, french fries makes me feel good, okay? Whacking off to porn makes me feel amazing, all right? So if you believe that, if you believe that that's in my long-term mental health uh, benefits checklist and keep smoking weed, man. Puff, puff it. Puff up, dude. Puff it up. Um, and the other thing people point to, people point to like, um, rich people, uh, and Joe Rogan as having, um, like Joe Rogan seems, Joe Rogan's got a handle on it, right? Joe Rogan smokes weed. He's got it together. He's got it together enough to do a podcast. That's a lot of work. Joe Rogan's all, all put together. Joe Rogan has fucking hundred million dollars, okay? Joe Rogan in his off time, he's not busting ass, he's not scrambling to make money, he's in, the, he's in his backyard shooting a bow and arrow. That's that's his, his how he spends his time. It, sure, if you have enough money to go to Germany to get your blood swapped out, uh, to get the, your blood purified at some experimental clinic and do a salt bath, fucking crystal and salt, and fucking be in a sauna all day, then yeah, you probably won't notice the detrimental effects of weed that much. Um, but if you're not in that economic bracket, it's probably bad. It's probably a bad idea. It's probably, it's not going to help you make money. God. Yeah, it's no good. And it's expensive. The fuck are you doing? Even I don't burn through money that recklessly. I mean, look, some people can use it. Some people use it well. But it is the most dangerous out of anything. So if, if you have healthy, you know, if you, if you if you approach drugs 
with a, sci a scientist's mind and a Friar Tuck's heart. If you don't approach it like that, then you're, then you're going to get owned. THC is extra dangerous because it stays stored in your fat cells for like 30 days after you smoke. That's dangerous. That means when you, when you get off of it, you, you still have THC in your brain for 30 days after. Like it's just, it's just something, it's just something, you, things that you gotta consider. As the times get crazier, <coughs> and if you get crazier, and you, and you do, uh, and you start doing a little bit of self-medicating, these things are made available in, in incredible quantities. And that, that fact alone makes me nervous. When things are available around every corner and things are being made legal, things that were once never used forever, for the most part, you know what I'm saying? That makes me nervous. Just, just that right there makes me nervous. Right there, I'm like, wait, wait, what? Oh. It's not about if it's good or bad. It's not about that. I'm like, whoa, hold on a second. Why? Why all of a sudden? That's all I ask myself. That's it. I don't need an answer either. You just got to ask the question. What you, you got to do, you have to kick your bad habits. You can't, you can't, you can't smoke weed. You just can't. Like, you think, um, like, people, people all the time, they're like, hey, Nick smokes weed. Nick makes, Nick makes so much money, mm -hmm. and you'll never make that amount of money. So Nick can smoke weed, okay? Nick is the, the best-selling Mercedes at, the, at a Mercedes dealership, at a popular dealership. He sells the most Mercedes. That's not you. You are not going to get anywhere if you smoke weed. You're fucked. If you smoke weed, you're fucked. You cannot smoke weed. You have to stop smoking weed. You have to stop. Yeah, people... You have to stop. You're so fucked. You're so fucked and you don't even know it because you're watching Cartoon Network. Did you... You're so fucked and you can't even count. You can't even realize how fucked up you are because you have a steady stream of YouTube videos and podcasts on autoplay and you're high. Are you high right now, man? You have to stop smoking weed. You have to stop. You cannot smoke weed. Same thing with alcohol. If you are, if you're thinking right now, I don't want to, I don't want to quit alcohol. You're already fucked. You're already an alcoholic. You have to stop drinking. You can't drink. If you drink, you're on the brink. If you drink, something stinks. If you drink, you need to take time to think. If you drink, your pen's running out of ink. If you drink, you bought some chain link. If you drink, you have to stop. You have to stop drinking. You can't drink. You f you can't. You can't be a functioning human being and drink. If you were like a member of the nobility, if you were back in the day, if you were like a, a British royal or an Italian merchant or somebody, anybody in like some f uh, functioning society with a lot of time on your hands, then you can have a you can have your port, a glass of port. You, I don't know. you, you, can, you but if you're if you're a person if you make no money and you're trying to come up and you're in America right now and there's people that want you dead, you cannot drink. Okay, you're gonna get caught lacking. You are lacking right. Now. So when when people point to Nick smoking weed, like Nick is Nick is like the most aggressive worker I've ever seen. If you if you have that in you, like if you need weed. To like stop working, to like to like stop like building a house. Exactly. If you're building a house so fast that you need to chill the fuck out and smoke and smoke a little, that's fine. That's not you. I know that for a fact. Statistically, listening to this right now, you're you're sinking deeper into your couch. You are sinking deeper into your couch. You're pulling the covers tighter over your head. You're getting cozier and cozier by the minute. You are ordering Domino's. You're going deeper into the deep dish pizza. You cannot smoke weed. So yeah, you got to kick all that fucking shit. Um, porn's bad, man. You shouldn't be watching porn. Um, but yeah, so that's so that's that's. You got to make your time valuable. You have to 
kick all these addictions, these crazy addictions that you don't even think are that bad. You have to get those the hell out of there. They're killing you. They're literally, they're killing you. They're slowly killing you. You're dying right now. And let me tell you what's screwing up society and civilization. It really is drugs at the end of the day. I was out in California for one of the biggest podcasts out there. And I was hanging around with a very interesting, famous person. And because uh, I'm, I'm literally like an anthropologist. People ask, I got asked in my uh, custody battle hearings you know, five years ago, how often do you smoke marijuana? We hear you're a big drug addict. And I say about once a year, like a cultural thing, like a peace pipe. But it's so strong, I don't like it. Soros is funded, you know, and other groups making it weaponized. And they laughed at that then. They're not laughing now. People aren't laughing now. They, they know how strong it is. I smoked some pot when I was out in California, where it's legal. And uh, I still feel it two days later. Smoked it one time at one sitting. And I am literally feel like marijuana felt in 1990 when I'd occasionally smoke it. You know, you take some cheerleader out on a date. And she goes, let's smoke a joint before we go to the movie. And you're like, I guess so. A few hits kind of feel like this. This is what marijuana in 1990 felt like two days later after I smoked it. I, I feel like I just took hits of 1990 marijuana right now. But that's because I never take marijuana, so it hits me stronger. But, but, but people that are on this stuff, you go to L.A., th there is just plentiful weaponized marijuana, plentiful weaponized everything else everywhere, and fentanyl. And this is the chemical bio attack to take down America and turn us into zombies. And I'm not judging the people. You know, you got to go in and be in amongst it all. You know, you, you got to bond with them so I can then have a national discussion uh, about this. But if I smoke pot like that every day, I'd be like these people. Hell, I feel like I'm ready to lie down on the side of the road and go to sleep for a couple of months right now. <laughs> I'm serious, folks. I took five hits off California weed and I can barely get up.